Uh, welcome into our Wednesday reading. Uh, and we've been uh, reading from uh, Sawa Plachi's book, Native Life in South Africa. Uh, we, we, we don't actually read the whole books, we just do excerpts and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really well. This might even be the last, no, this might even be the last one uh, for this book. Maybe not, I could be wrong. We'll see what happens. Anyway, the, let, let's, we're going to go on page, uh, this was, I found this very interesting. So we're going to page uh, 198 and 199. And this is the uh, Pitakor Africa um, uh, edition of this, of this book. Edition of the Pitakor Africa. Oh, let's see. Should we give him any more? Let me see. Uh, uh, it was, uh, uh, this was put out by, uh, uh, this put out in 2007, but the book was originally written. First published on, in 1916. So it's available. So just a little bit. See, I, I, I write, uh, not write, but I, I use the highlighter. Yeah. I would encourage you folks who read, uh, unless you read a regular old novel, mm. to uh, use the highlighter. Sometimes. Yeah. As already stated, the London Committee of the Wesleyan Methodist Church asked to see uh, Mr. Harcourt and uh, asked to see Mr. Harcourt inform him of how drastically the Kaffir law was operating against their converts and other natives in South Africa. <laughs> In London, the committee of London, the Wesleyan Methodist Church, the Abuza, Uba, Ubonba, Umnumzana, Uhanekot, Uhanekot, I as this, Uba, Ninjan, Ninjan, Abandoba, Uteto, Abandoba, Gokafi, Ninjan, or Seven Zanga, you are against Uba, or Sula Shule, Abandu, Abamyam, Abasazan, or now remember, these were the, the, the black folks that they call the natives are uh, coming to, to in England to see this person to petition him to at least look at the law and what it's doing to the the the, the, the people in his congregation, the religious people in his con congregation in South yeah. Africa. But Mr. Harcourt discreetly refused to see the committee. As for the Indians, no one in South Africa paid any heed to their complaints against the Cooley Law. It's stated, but I'm just going to say it for the record. Mm -hmm. So this, the same law, uh, they call it, when it applied to uh, the natives, the black folks, they call it the Kaffir law, uh, or the Kaffir, however you say it. Mm -hmm. And But when it applied to the Indians, they call it the Cooley law. Oh, they just love to, you know, label you some derogatory uh, label. Yeah. But their cry reached India and Lord Hardridge, 
demanded the redress of their grievances. So, Mr. Hardcore of the Methodist, of the Wesleyan Methodist Church, uh, refused to see the, the natives uh, or the uh, Kaffirs, Kaffirs, right? But um, Mr. Hardridge, who I guess was political and was in sort of, uh, he's in India, yeah. uh, they reached the, 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 the redress, the, the complaint reached him, and, uh, and he, he said, Whoa! Let's talk about this. Yeah. His lordship, we're talking about uh, uh, Lord Hardridge, Hardridge. Um, insisted so forcibly, like uh, so forcibly that unlike the Wesleyan missionaries, he could not be ignored. Uh, the result was that the South African Parliament, not from local desire, but from imperial considerations, was obliged in the next session, that's been 1914, 1914, to amend the Cooley Law with a Magna Carta of the Indians in South Africa. Wow, wow, what? South Africa, Parliament, South Africa, not local. I so, but Londo my email and then question in London. I you it tattered in my little Kuba um teto mauchin to a um teto amend you on nineteen forty. You on nineteen fourteen, you call it low. We cannot believe that to boast in one and the same speech about a Magna Carta for Indians and dismiss the native appeal against a virtual wrong is truly is well is true imperialism asinokwazi uyivalondoleyo kuba sisisisizi ngce ngento enye esithi about mat 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 of india kuba mawususu lomthetho kuba uphinde uhlalelwe phansi a Magna Carta was a, I think, a French, maybe it was English, uh, uh, yeah, English uh, um, um, document um, espousing, you know, uh, let's call it just fair government. Yeah. For if imperialism stands for the protection of a few thousand Indians in South Africa because they are supported by a viceroy and neglect of the, uh, the ne neglect of the groans of five million natives because unlike a viceroy, the missionaries who plead for them cannot enforce their claim. Okay. Babu Kusela, about to Bambala, Mamandia, the Paga de South Africa, the Nile Baba support our vice way, and then by Yeke, about to Abanins in me five millions, about to bend out. Woke one missionary, Ababe Beke, into Ba, Abakwazu, Ba, Maba, Maba, and Force, the political, diplomatic, Ba, Maba Taze, even into Enzig, you can pack up South Africa. So let me end it there because. This shows clearly, remember in South Africa, even to this day, there's, the, 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 there's a buffer class between, the, the, let's say, the, most of the people 
and the people who run the country, the, the Boers, the English, or whatever have you. South Africa into Yaban Kazi Pafaklas Ama Polo Amandia Bonga Band Bas Kerabas is cool. So we clearly see that people who represent the native interests mm. in, in England mm. uh, are not as powerful as the people who represented the Indian from India, you know, uh, uh, interest in South Africa, mm. uh, which which I guess began this has this this sort of uh, uh, layers of class struggle, if you want to put it that way. I don't say class struggle; it sounds too anyway. But class struggle. I mean, to this day. Uh, if you want to look at it as what what's called the coloreds, you know, the Cape colors from the Malay kind of thing, and Malay and Indian, mm -hmm. you know, they are a different status, a different class that, 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 that was created. I guess the, the sources were back there with, yeah. with this whole Indian thing than, than the natives. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and they feel a certain way because they were trained to be managers and stuff like that, whereas the, well, the, yeah. the natives, the blacks, were, weren't trained to be anything. But <laughs> So there you go. Things, uh, things. You, it's it's interesting to see how things started and how they continue. And the only benefits, the only people who benefit are the people who started this in the first place and they continue to benefit. Yeah. Once again, the book is uh, Native Life in South Africa. It's a classic by Sal uh, Plachi, and uh, I hope he's pronouncing his name right. And he was a, a journalist, mainly a journalist, and uh, uh, he did excellent work. In fact, his work is more, how you say, powerful today than it was back then. It's more informative today than anybody writing, I shouldn't say that because I haven't read everybody writing today, um, but it, it, it stands the test of time. Uh, get it if you can, in every, every school, it's good. Everybody should read this thing. Yeah, yeah. Interestingly enough, we're recording this uh, on Freedom Day here in South Africa. It's the 27th of, uh, of April. Every, and, uh, and Freedom Day is actually supposed to be celebrating uh, the, 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 the life and the struggle, uh, the, the struggle credentials of Chris Honey. Yeah, see, I got my Chris Honey t-shirt on. Of Chris Honey. Uh, just one more thing. Uh, we have been talking, Miss Chloe and I, mm. uh, we have been talking about how do you really celebrate somebody? They give them one day. Uh, but for instance, like in September, we, a lot of us, we basically had the whole month of September celebrating mm. Steve Biko, whose, whose grave is right down the street. We're in Zimbabwe mm. right now. But down the street, I mean down the way, right? Mm. Well, we believe that Chris Hani, April should be the whole Chris Hani month. Mm. 
utheni ezinye inyanga u September no Mandela inyanga zabo u Steve Biko umzekelo ba celebrate inyanga yonke u celebrate u Steve Biko Mandela nale inyanga ka 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 April bemela i celebrate the whole month ibe Christian month ifane nezinye inyanga zabanye abantu and perhaps celebrate is the wrong word and we should be uh, uh how we say educating ourselves about Chris Hardy the whole month people should be going around with the cars that have the, the microphones and the, the, the whatever the microphones the, the speakers on the car talking playing Chris Hardy speeches yeah, newspapers and, and radio, uh, I'll leave the TV people alone because they, they just take your mind. Newspapers and radios, they should be talking Chris Honey all month. Uh, if you're going to do TV, then you might as well, people should be doing plays and audio dramas and, 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 and all kinds of films and putting it on 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 media so that people can uh, uh, have Chris Hami in their in their in their minds. Abandu legumela ke TV ni basebe se audio drama basebe se drama yonge indo za ubangela i abandu is known in zabo bayas bamba Chris. Because remember, he, he in fact right up the way he graduated from from Fort Hare. Would you graduate? He went. Wow. He, went he went to Fort Hare right wow. there in wow. Alice, right? Uh, so he's a scholar. He's a soldier. He's a diplomat. He's everything you want to be. And he, and he, and he basically um, was surrounded by, uh, well, he's, he's in country with Seasway, but I mean, he was surrounded by uh, uh, the regular people. He wasn't a leader or some general. Okay, he, they call him the commander. He wasn't a commander who, who just commanded from on high. You know, he was truly with the people. One of the reasons why he was, he was, uh, he mentally, he had left really the, the, the political party he was associated with so long mm -hmm. is because he seen that they weren't with the, with the people that he was talking about. Yeah. So salute to the commander. Chris Hani. Chris From Massacole. From Massacole. And me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the trains to bed. Letting you know what we. Oh, yes,